Hi, welcome to Interview.com. If you're looking for a job opportunity, kindly submit your resume using the following link. We will do the needful to find out the right job based on your skill set. I'm going to explain you one of the important Java interview questions. So please listen to this question. What is override annotating in Java? Very important Java interview question for more than two to five years of experience. So the interviewer might be asking you, can you explain override annotation? Why do we need that? And what is the purpose? And why Java Sun community has introduced it? Override annotation. When we want to override a method, we can use this annotation to say to the compiler, we are overriding an existing method. If the compiler finds that is that there is no matching method found in the superclass, then generates a warning. This is not mandatory to use at override when you override a method, though it is not mandatory, but it is a good practice for coding. Okay, so it's a good practice. So please, whenever you are overriding a method from a superclass, so please mention override like this. Okay. So what exactly it means? It means, boss, I am going to override this method which is in the superclass. Okay. So please. So it's like a guardian. It's like a telling to the compiler that the concrete class, the subclass, the subclass is going to override a method from the superclass. Okay. So how exactly this is important? Let's see. Let's see an example. Then you will understand. See, I have a method return val in the superclass. Okay, I have a return return val which returns boolean string print val. Okay, so this is a method which is in superclass. So I am extending a superclass. I am creating a subclass which extends a superclass. Okay, and I, here I have mentioned here I mentioned the override annotation. Okay, I can still remove this and save this. There is no problem at all. Okay. I'll tell you the, uh, the great benefit of this override annotation. So I'm, I am I have the same as the return value which returns boolean and string value as an input parameter. So what happens after six months someone is coming to a super class and say we change this to this. Okay. So what happens? You can see the subclass. Well, I'm overriding that method, but you have changed the super class method which I'm trying to override. So compiler will give you an error. What it does it says? Create a return val is a super type of override super or remove the override annotation. So it says either you remove this override annotation or add a method similar to this because I am assuming that in the subclass I am overriding it. So boss don't change it. So immediately after you seeing the compiler, oh you will realize that okay in the concrete class, in the subclass somebody is overriding it. So instead of Instead of changing this method, I change. I will write some other method. Okay, this is where uh, override annotation comes into picture. Okay, so override is not mandatory, but it's, it's a best best practice to like a, it, it will act like a guardian for the compiler. The compiler will check whether uh, some, someone is changing the superclass. Uh, overridden method. If someone is changing, it will show the compiler boss. Somebody is already overriding it, so please do the method properly. Okay. Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. If you're looking for a job opportunity, please support your resume in interview.com. Thank you for watching this video, and all the best for your interview. Thank you. And this video is from interview.com, a job portal in India.